Limiting your kids' screen time is a never-ending battle for parents. Lockdowns during school holidays don't help. But this dad says he's come up with a solution and the government's given him a million dollars to share it. 7am, been out for a walk and first thing he reaches for is the screen. How long do you think is fair to have on your computer? Given it's the holidays, how long? Three hours. For Tasha Lawton, every day is a battle. That's your three hours, time's up. Mm. Okay, really? Do I feel like I'm the screen Nazi at times? <laughs> Definitely the Nazi nagging screen banshee, perhaps. <laughs> We asked Tasha to keep a video diary of one day at home with her son, 15-year-old Harvey. 4 p.m. And to be fair to him, he has been at work all day, but let's just see how long it takes until he gets back on that phone. So, dude, where's your phone? I left it at work. Did you actually? Yeah. How come? Because I'm not addicted. I probably feel like I lose control of the fight with the screens once or twice a week. Hey, girls. Girls, can you come up here? Gary Borum says he also used to struggle to get his daughters off screens. Parents have one big challenge, the device merry-go-round. You know, get off the Xbox and they pick up the tablet. You know, get off the tablet and they pick up the phone and it goes around and around. Hey, listen, can I get some help? Just uh, do some vacuuming and the dishwasher needs to be emptied. OK. Thanks, gang. Now Gary has a secret weapon and it seems to work. Well, it's a screen time management system that's a reward, that rewards kids with screen time for the chores and tasks they do around the home. It's great for our family because it gives a chance for the kids to learn some skills in managing their own screen time. Mum of four, Libby Swanepoel, also swears by the system. It empowered them. It gave them the chance to make the decisions for themselves. Called Screen Coach, it's a phone app that allows kids to earn screen time by doing certain activities. Those activities are chosen by their parents and could be anything from helping around the house to doing homework to simply playing outside. Once the kids complete the activities, they get points which will dictate just how much time they get to spend on their screens. It's standard that you, you make your bed and you clean your room, but extra things like unloading the dishwasher or washing the car, they were tasks that were added, as well as some things that the kids did um, less willingly, like music practice and that sort of thing. It's pretty simple. If Gary sees something that needs doing, he can send a message to his 12-year-old daughter, Hannah. If she wants the credit points, she can accept. Now, with Screen Coach, we're saying to children, you can have as much time as you want. You just have to earn it. And Gary says pretty soon children start to look for things to do to earn screen time. What do you like to watch when you get the chance? Um, just Netflix and YouTube and whatever I find interesting. While Hannah admits she doesn't always feel like doing chores, there is another advantage to the app. I do have a friend in Melbourne who mm -hmm. is using the app and um, they do tell me that it has made it simpler to use the iPad without being yelled at. It's great for me because I don't have to say no all the time. If they want to use a screen, I can say, check in with the app. Does the app say that you can use a screen? If the app says no, you know what you need to do in order to earn the screen time. So you're no longer the screen Nazi. I know, I can say no about other things now. <laughs> Dude, two hours is up. We agreed. Work, two hours on the phone. So... I'll be to the mats. That's what you always say. Back at the Lawton house, Mum Tasha is still battling to control the time her son Harvey spends on devices and is keen to try anything. I don't think it turns them into monsters. I think it turns them into zombies. 10pm, and do you know what's really sad? I actually have to now confiscate everything and hide it because um, in case he wakes up in the middle of the night and goes on it. <laughs> That's really sad. And do you know what? The battle is real, people.
Well, too much indoor time with our children, um, which is supplemented by too much screen time, uh, definitely has an effect on our children's vision. Optometrist Sophie Coe says too much screen time is leaving many children short-sighted. And we're starting to, to know that it's going to be a global epidemic if we don't do something about it. By 2050, globally, half the world will be short-sighted and that's a lot of people. Sophie says anyone watching screens all the time should rest their eyes by doing something simple. Every 20 minutes, look away for 20 seconds, far away, out, away from your screen. Um, and that 20-20 rule is really something, a good tip to have up your sleeve with your children. In terms of physical problems that we're worried about, they're not exercising, so they may lead them, lead them to things like obesity. Dr Chris Moy from the Australian Medical Association says it's not just physical problems we have to worry about with children, he says it can also affect their mental health. We are definitely seeing addictive type behaviour with uh, screens so that uh, kids stuck in front of screens is, is something they're really addicted to, uh, very much like other types of addictions. I think parents feel that ch the changing behaviours with teenagers can be is, is, is a lost cause. But what we found with Screen Coach is that small steps can make a significant change over the course of time. You must have done something right here. The government's kicked in funding to help you develop the app. That's right. Yeah, the government's come in to, um, and supported us to, to the tune of a million dollars. Gary says much of that money will be spent on further trials of the app, which he hopes will be available by the end of the year. Currently, there's nothing other than the approach of nagging at your kids or yelling at them constantly over and over again. So something like Screen Coach would be a real helpful tool that I think is worth a, worth a crack for, for kids. Even 15-year-old Harvey thinks it's worth a go. Kids are definitely willing to put in a bit of elbow grease to get a couple of hours on their screen. <laughs> time off to, earns time on. Gary's looking for families to trial his app before it's released. You can find more details on our website.